What happened in that theater is clearly a result of the movie itself. That is so moral majority. Maybe it is. I don't care. Mickey, you cannot blame real life violence on entertainment. Obviously, I think you can. Excuse me. I think after having lived through this and done extensive research on the subject matter, I think it's safe to say that the killer flew way over the cuckoo's nest before he stepped into the movie theater. That may be true, but movies do influence us. But they're not responsible for our actions. The killer wore a ghost mask just like in the movie. It's directly responsible. Oh, yeah? Is Taxi Driver responsible for presidential assassinations? Is Pretty Woman responsible for teenage prostitution? Do you blame meatballs for bad camp counselors? <laughs> or speed for the public's reluctance to use mass transit? <laughs> You're just being stupid. All right, the killer has obviously patterned himself after two serial killers who have been immortalized on film. Are you suggesting that somebody's trying to make a real-life sequel? Stab 2? Who'd want to do that? Sequels suck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not always. Oh, please. By definition alone, they're inferior films. They're handicapped. It's a bullshit generalization. Many sequels have surpassed their original. Name one. Aliens. Far better than the first. No way. I much prefer Ridley Scott. Thank you, Ridley Scott rules. No way. Aliens rock that. Oh, don't, don't stay away from her, you bitch. That was a great line. One line does not make a movie great. Name another. T2. Someone's got a hard on for Cameron. <laughs> a bigger budget does not make a movie better. Name another. Terminator 1 is historical. Sarah Connor. Yes. <laughs> what about The Godfather? Part two. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Now that's the Oscar winning exception. That's a good hey, one. Hey, I got it, I got it. Friday the 13th, part 20. Uh, okay, okay. I think on that note, we should wrap it up. We'll see you again, and uh, the discussion of sequels will be continued. Please, the entire horror genre was destroyed in the sequels. Wait a minute. Where'd you get that idea? It's obvious. Hello? It comes about dollars and cents, and no one cares about making quality good art. No, if they suck, it's because horror films are only as good as their villains. And how can Freddy and Jason possibly be scary after they've been diluted through three, four, five, or six sequels? Well, what's the solution? If you were going to make a sequel, Mr. Auteur, what would you do differently, Randy? I'd let the geek get the girl. <laughs>